This is activity three, fabulous fish from lesson 14, using linear relations to solve problems. And in this problem, this activity, what you're supposed to do is figure out different combinations of fish, and those two fish are tilapia, which costs $3 a pound, and salmon, which costs $5 a pound. And you're supposed to figure out different combinations of tilapia and salmon to equal $210 total that you have to spend on this fish. And it asks you to figure out what are five different combinations of salmon and tilapia, and um, to define the variables, write equations, and sketch graphs. And so I became very interested in these different combinations. And you're gonna see I go through way too much detail, and I've even added several extensions to this problem. And you'll see what those um, combinations are in, in a while. Well, first of all, you're going to go to the store. Let's say that your mom sends you to the store. She gives you $210. She sends you to the store. You're going to buy some tilapia and you're going to buy some salmon. The first thing to think about is you have pounds of tilapia and you have pounds of salmon. And so how are you going to turn those into dollars? What's the operation to turn those into dollars. And this is what you do every single day that you go to the grocery store. Every single thing you buy at the grocery store, you actually turn the quantity, the amount that you're purchasing into dollars so that you can walk out of the store by paying a certain amount for the bill. So then the cashier takes all of those different numbers of dollars, adds them all together, and, and that is what you pay. That is algebra. So they're doing algebra, you're doing algebra, as you pay for your items at the grocery store and leave. And in this case, how do you get pounds of tilapia and pounds of salmon to dollars? What's the cost? The tilapia costs $3 per pound. <clears throat> and however many pounds of tilapia you buy, you have to multiply those, that number of pounds by $3. Likewise, the number of pounds of salmon by $5. And so let's do the very simplest um, examples in the beginning. Let's say that you buy all tilapia. So you spend all of this $210 on tilapia. So that's $3 per pound. So you have to divide the 210 by the $3. Now remember, every time you take out $3, that is equal to one pound of tilapia. So that division tells you 210 divided by three, it tells you how many times you can take out a pound of tilapia. And you can do that 70 times, so that is equal to 70 pounds. And you can see 210 or 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, so 210 divided by 3 is 70. All right, so salmon, same idea. Let's say you're going to buy all salmon. So you go into the store, you have $210. Every time you take out $5, then you can buy a pound of salmon. So how many times can you do that? That's the division. 210 divided by five is 42. You can do that 42 times. That means you can buy 42 pounds of salmon. And you can see that division also. 200 divided by five, 20 divided by five is four. 200 divided by five is 40. And you have 10 left, left over. 10 divided by five is this two pounds right here. So 70 pounds and 42 pounds. And let's look at a graph of that first to see what's going on. So if you buy all um, salmon, then that's zero tilapia and 42 pounds of salmon. So that's the y-intercept up here. We're gonna use that to write an equation in a little while. And if you buy all um, tilapia, that's zero pounds of salmon. So y is zero, this is the x-intercept. So zero pounds of salmon, 70 pounds of tilapia. So you connect those two points and any point on this line means it's a combination of tilapia and salmon to equal $210. That's what this line tells you. And here's an equation for that line up here. $3 times the pounds of tilapia plus $5 times the pounds of salmon. Together, they're gonna equal $210. So if you increase tilapia by a certain amount, the amount of money has to balance with the amount of money that you're paying for the salmon. So you have to take away that amount of money from salmon. Whatever you add for tilapia has to balance. That's why I like writing the standard form of the equation for this kind of problem. 
because it gives you the idea of balancing those two amounts. You could write the slope intercept form. You can actually do that pretty quickly here. But we'll come back to that later. We're going to compare those two forms. All right, so now let's say that your mom sends you to the store and she says, buy 10, <clears throat> buy 10 pounds of tilapia and use the remaining amount of money to buy all salmon. So you go into the store, you say, I want 10 pounds of tilapia. And the, the person says, okay, that's going to be $3 per pound. It's going to be $30 for that tilapia. So you take that $30. And now how much do you have left? You have left $180, and the rest of it is going to be spent on salmon. So how much, how many pounds of salmon can you get? That's $180 divided by 5. Remember, once again, every time you take out $5, that is equal to a pound of salmon. So I can do that 36 times. So that means I can buy 36 pounds of salmon. Now this is reasoning through it. This is just kind of thinking through, oh, okay, so I'm going to pay... I'm $30, so here's $30, and oh, I have left $180, and so $180, I can get 36 pounds of salmon. But this is not about just reasoning, and it's about combining the reasoning with using the equations. So let's do that side by side. Let's use the equation now and see that you're doing the same thing as you're reasoning through it. And this is what we want students to do, is to begin to understand that reasoning through the problem is the same as using the equation. The equation is just a streamlined or a organized way of looking at the problem. And furthermore, the numbers are going to become more difficult as you go farther in math. So it's developing a trust in doing the algebra and understanding that there is a way to reason through it, but pretty soon you'll just do the algebra but at least you have in your mind a way to reason through that algebra, what's going on in the problem. All right, so this is 3x, so $3 per pound times x plus $5 per pound times y equals $210. So you're going to write that as 3x plus 5y equals 210, but it's 3 times 10 because this x is 10 pounds, so that's 3 times 10 is 30. And now you're going to solve what we call solve for y. So x is 10. How do you solve for y? Well, 3 times 10 is 30. And then I'm going to subtract that 30 from this 210. That's what we did over here. We subtracted this 30 from 210 and got 180. So this is 30. And you're going to subtract that from 210. So you're adding algebraically. You're adding a negative 30 to this side. So it's the additive inverse and you're adding a negative 30 to this side. So 210 plus a negative 30 is 180. So now you have um, 5y equals 180. So now I can spend the rest of the money on salmon. So that's going to cost me $5 a pound. So now you divide this 5, 180 by this 5. So that's the multiplicative inverse. So you're multiplying by 1 -fifth which is the same as dividing by 5, or 1 fifth times 180. Every time you take out $5, that's 1 pound. You can do that 36 times, so that's 36 pounds. So you should go through this algebra at the same time as thinking through what you're doing, and do that several times. Do it on your own, write it down on your own, see if it matches this page, and keep practicing, keep thinking about it. So the equation that you're using is the standard form of the equation, ax plus by equals c. A balance of tilapia plus salmon, those two have to balance to equal this amount of money, which in this case is $210. All right, so here's how that fits on the graph. 10 pounds um, of tilapia, and you bought 36 pounds of salmon. Now notice, if you're increasing the amount of tilapia by this many pounds, that was $30. So you're increasing $30 of tilapia. That means you have to decrease $30 of salmon. Well, $30 of salmon is a decrease of um, six pounds. $30 divided by $5 per pound is six. So you're going to see that this is a decrease of six pounds right here, two, four, six, because that six pounds is 
$30. So if you're going to increase tilapia by $30, you have to decrease salmon by $30. We'll look at this in more detail. But now let's say that um, your mom says, okay, go to the store, buy an equal amount of each fish. So you go to the store and says, oh, she said buy an equal amount of each fish. So I'm going to spend $105 on tilapia and $105 on salmon. Well, that one's not too bad. $105 divided by three um, dollars per pound means I can do that 35 times so I can get 35 pounds. And I know I have $105 left, $105 divided by five. I can, um, each time I spend $5, that's a pound of salmon. I can do that 21 times. So I can buy 21 pounds. So that one's not too bad. And the way that looks on the graph, graph 35 pounds of tilapia, 21 pounds of salmon. And so that's this point right here. Now remember, these are solutions to this equation because they add, so the x value and the y value both add to 210. Now notice that the decrease from 42 to 21 is a decrease of $105. So this 42 to this 21 is a decrease of 21 because remember, cut this in half. And um, so that amount of money has to be the same as this increase of tilapia. So you're going to increase $105 and you're going to decrease $105 of salmon. Um, all right. So I'll say your mom says, no, that's not what I meant. What I meant was to buy an equal number of pounds of tilapia and an equal number of pounds of salmon. Not money, but pounds. And so you go, okay, I'll go back to the store. And gee, how do I figure out that problem? What do I do? Well, I can just act it out. I'm going to... Um, buy 10 pounds of tilapia and 10 pounds of salmon. So now I know I'm safe. I've spent $80 out of $210, and I realize, oh, well, gee, I can do that again. That's going to get me to $160 So from $210, so I'm still not spending my $210. So I do that again. So now I have bought a total of 20 pounds of each fish, and that's going to cost me um, $160 because... 20 pounds at $3 per pound is $60. Um, 20 pounds at $5 per pound is $100. That's a, I'm going to spend $160. I still have $50 left. All right. Well, I know from up here, if I buy $10 and 10, I'm sorry, 10 pounds and 10 pounds, that's using $80. So if I buy half as much of each of these, I'm going to spend $40. That is a proportional relationship. You're actually using some algebra right there to figure out that proportion. So if I buy half of each of these, I'm going to spend $40. So let's do that. Five pounds of each fish, that means $40. So I'm going to spend another $40 from my 50. So now I have $10 left. So I've purchased 25 pounds of each fish, 20 pounds and five pounds. I have $10 left. Now, I know that if I buy one pound of tilapia, that's going to cost me $3. I'm going to buy one pound of salmon, that's going to cost me $5. So that's going to cost me altogether $8. So I still have $2 left. So one pound of each fish, it's going to be three pounds of tilapia plus, I'm sorry, $3 of tilapia for one pound, $5 of tilapia for one pound. So I'm going to spend eight more dollars. So now I'm up to 26 pounds of each fish. I have $2 left. How am I going to divide that $2 evenly, get the same number of pounds? Several ways to do that. But let's say that um, I spent $208 and I bought, bought a total of 52 pounds. So I bought 26 pounds of one, 26 pounds of the other. So a total of 52 pounds, it cost me $208. So the average amount that I'm spending per pound is $4. And you can see that from the equation. Uh, let's look at right here. The average of 3 plus 5 
3 plus 5 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the average cost per pound is $4. I have $2 left. So if I'm going to spend $4 on one pound of an equal amount of each fish, I have $2 left, so I can spend $2 on a half a pound of both, both amounts of fish. So a half of, now this gets a little bit tough to follow. You just have to keep thinking through, and we're going to do this a different way in a moment. But a half of a half a pound is a fourth of a pound, and a fourth of a pound. So that one-fourth of a pound costs $1. This one fourth of a pound of salmon costs one dollar, and I'll show you how you get that in a moment. So that's this two dollars. So I spent my two dollars. I spent all of my two hundred ten dollars. How much fish have I purchased? Well, I've purchased twenty six and a quarter pounds. Twenty six pounds here, plus one quarter of each kind of fish here. So I've purchased a total of twenty six and a quarter pounds of each fish. Now this last two dollars got a little bit tough, so let's look at that in a little bit more detail. But let's look at the graph first. And notice if I buy twenty-six and a quarter pounds of salmon, I'm also going to purchase twenty-six and a quarter pounds. I'm sorry, twenty-six and a quarter pounds of tilapia. I'm also going to purchase twenty-six and a quarter pounds of salmon. So notice this is a square, and it intersects this um, graph here at this point, which has an equal number of pounds of each fish. So it forms a square. We're going to use that a little bit later. But let's look at that $2. That was a little bit tough. So $2 left, $3 per pound of tilapia, $5 per pound of salmon. If $8 could buy one pound each, and you know that's true, then one-fourth of $8 can buy one-fourth of a pound of each. So I have two dollars left. That is one-fourth of eight dollars. So one-fourth of eight dollars gives me one-fourth of a pound of each fish. So um, I have one-fourth as much money. I can buy one-fourth of a pound of each. Because this eight dollars, remember, can buy one pound of each. It's two pounds total but it's important to remember that's one pound of each fish. All right, so the tilapia is $3 per pound times a fourth of a pound. Well, how much is that going to cost me? It's going to cost 75 cents. And the salmon is $5 per pound times one fourth of a pound. How much is that going to cost me? That's going to cost me five fourths dollars or one and one dollar and 25 cents. Add these two together. And that equals that $2. Now, again, this is pretty tough. If you're not used to thinking about fractions, and again, you're just learning how to work with these equations, so it's, it's pretty tough. But the way to learn it is to continue to go through these slides, the screens, and do some of this work on your own and use this, the, the uh, work that I'm showing you to check your work. Do some of it without looking at the video. All right, so two pounds is equal to eight dollars. I'm going to spend three eighths of that eight dollars on tilapia because that's three dollars out of that eight dollars is going to give me a pound. And the salmon is going to be five eighths of that eight dollars because five dollars out of that eight dollars is going to give me a pound of salmon. All right, so that means I'm going to purchase a half of a pound total with this two dollars, one-fourth of a pound for tilapia and one-fourth of a pound for salmon. So this is doing the same problem a little bit differently. So I'm going to spend three-eighths of that two dollars on tilapia. So you work through the arithmetic a little bit. That's three times two dollars divided by eight. You get three-fourths. Factor out these twos here. And that's three fourths of a dollar or 75 cents. And you get five eighths of two dollars is five times two eighths. Factor out the two here. You're going to get five fourths dollars, which is one and a quarter. So, it's, so these two amounts add to this two dollars. All right, it has to match what we just did previously. Just a moment ago, we just looked at one fourth of a pound 
at three dollars for one fourth of a pound. Um, I didn't put that. I should have put here that that equals 75 cents. Maybe I wrote it. No, I didn't write it. I never wrote it here. Um, but one fourth of a pound. Oh, it's right here. Sorry. So one fourth. I worked down instead of across. So one fourth of a pound times three dollars per pound is 75 cents. And five fourths of a pound. So five fourths of oh man. So five dollars times one fourth of a pound is five fourths dollars or one dollar and twenty-five cents. Sorry about that. Um, so one dollar and twenty-five cents plus seventy-five cents is equal to a total of two dollars. All right, that has to make sense. You have to be able to combine combine this thinking with this thinking up here. So this is one fourth times three dollars per pound that's equal to that's the same as two eights one fourth is the same as two eights times three which if you rearrange the two and the three which you can do this is the commutative property of multiplication that's the same as three eights of two which is the way we figured it out up here so these two ways of looking at the problem have to match you have to be able to move from one to the other so one fourth of five is the same as two eighths of five. One fourth is the same as two eighths. And rearrange this as five eighths of two. So these two have to match. These two have to match. So let's um, look at that equal number of pounds now in, an, in yet another way. So we figured out that the average cost of the fish is $4 per pound. And um, the total amount of money that we have to spend is $210. Well, $210 divided by four, I can buy 52 and a half pounds of fish. We know that half of those pounds are tilapia and half of those pounds are salmon. So that's 26 and a quarter pounds is half of each of these. So 26 and a quarter pounds times $3 per pound is $78.75. And 26 and a quarter pounds times $5 per pound is $131.25. Add those two together, that is $210. All right, just a little bit more. I'm going to look at this in a little bit more detail because that's now using the equation. Um, let's look at the slope just for a second. All right, the slope you can figure out by using these two points, 0, 42, and 70, 0. So you subtract the x and y coordinates, 70, 0 from 0, 42. This gives you a negative 70 and a positive 42. So the slope is the change, what's the length along the y-axis, which is 42, divided by the length along the x-axis, which is a negative 70. It's 70 units, but it's a negative 70 units. So 42 divided by negative 70 equals, factor out the 7, 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 10 is 70. That equals a negative 6 tenths. You can factor out the 2's. It equals a negative 3 fifths. So this slope is a negative 3 fifths. So now you can write the slope intercept form, which is y equals a negative 3 fifths x plus this 42 pounds right here. And you can see that from the standard form also. You can see that the slope is negative 3 fifths. We're going to use this in a little while as well. So the slope from this form is negative 3 fifths. The slope here is negative 3 fifths. The y-intercept is 42. And we figured out the y-intercept from here because we divided 210 by that 3 to get 42 as well. So if the slope is a negative 3 fifths, that means for every pound increase in tilapia is a 3 fifths pound decrease in salmon. That's what a, neg a slope of negative 3 fifths means. So every 1 pound increase in tilapia, there is a 3 fifths of a pound decrease in salmon. These two amounts of money have to be equal. 
So one pound of tilapia costs three dollars. That means that three fifths of a pound of salmon also has to cost three dollars because it's a balance between the amount that you're paying for tilapia and the amount that you're paying for salmon. So three fifths pounds of salmon times five dollars, three fifths of five dollars is in fact that three dollars. All right, here's what I worked out before on the cost. So 26 and a quarter pounds increase in tilapia means there has to be, so that's the $78.75, there has to be that same amount of money decrease in salmon. So that's a negative three-fifths times 26 and a quarter pounds decrease in salmon. So um, a negative three-fifths times 26 and a quarter is equal to 15 and 75 hundredths pounds. So you're gonna decrease by 15 and 75 hundredths pounds. So 42 minus this 15 and 75 hundredths pounds is equal to that 26 and a quarter pounds. So the cost of the salmon is a decrease of 15 and 75 hundredths pounds um, so $5 times this 15 and 75 hundredths is equal to the same dollar amount as the increase in tilapia. And getting way out of control here. Let's keep going through this just a little bit more. So the increase in tilapia, $78.75, has to equal the decrease in salmon. So that's a negative three-fifths times x, that's going back to the slope intercept form of this equation. So we increased x by 26 and a quarter pounds. That means we're gonna to have to decrease it by negative three fifths of that. And then we're gonna to have to add that to this 42, which is where you start. So it's a decrease of 15 and 75 hundredths pounds. So 42 minus that 15 and 75 hundredths is equal to 26 and a quarter pounds. And the cost of that decrease is $78.75. They have to be equal. Let's go back to this just for a moment. Um, if X is yeah, if X is 26 and a quarter pounds, then Y has to be um, 26 and a quarter pounds as well, but that is decreasing this 42 by 15 and 75 hundredths. Yeah, a little bit, little bit difficult.